Am I the arsehole? For invading someone's personal space? Not a serious or life-altering situation. For context, I live in the UK. We have quiet sections on trains and I booked my ticket specifically so I could do work on a table in the quiet section on my laptop. My friend Lee sat opposite me. A man 40s 50s was sat next to me and about 15 minutes into the journey, starts watching friends out loud on his iPad. I put my headphones in but it was loud enough that I could still hear it. My friend and the person sat next to her were just giving him dirty looks, but he was oblivious and munching away on his sandwich. So I said excuse me, would you mind turning that down just a little bit please? He said no. Literally one word, no. Then I mentioned that it was the quiet section of the train and he laughed at me and said are you go gonna tell on me? It was so bizarre and annoying, but my friend just gestured for me to stay calm and leave it. So I closed my laptop and started watching with him. And commenting. Om um, guy love this bit. Watch the next part, it's so funny. Oh, is this the one where X happens? I'm not a massive Friends fan but I know enough to get by. He didn't respond, just kept giving me irritated looks but I kept going. He moved the iPad from the table to his lap, without turning the volume lower at any point. So I just carried on peering over his shoulder and commenting. He finally slammed the iPad case shut, grabbed his backpack and walked off, presumably to find another seat on the train. I opened my laptop and carried on working. After we got off, Lee said I should have just left it and not reacted to him, but it was a four hours journey and I had a lot to do. I paid extra to get a table seat, that too in the quiet section. She said I could have offered him my headphones. Maybe if they were over ear, but they're in ear and he's a stranger so, no. She said I kind of invaded his personal space I didn't touch him or move from the confines of my seat at any point and she was like no but watching someone's iPad is an asshole move. We're not in a fight, just a light hearted debate on whether or not I'm tear here for how I went about it. Not the asshole at all. He chose to make watching his TV show a public activity. In doing so, he opened himself up to public participation. Not the asshole. And Lee needs to stop being such a doormat. I do wish the guards would enforce the quiet zones, but the assholeish reaction of the guy you encounter does make me realize why they don't want to get involved their job is bad enough already. Not the asshole. He wanted friends, he got a friend. Not the asshole. He lacked basic manners, you just commented on the show he so graciously put on for everyone to hear. Not the asshole what you did was perfect. You didn't scream or yell. He basically invited everyone to watch by forcing everybody to listen. Not the asshole and you dealt with it perfectly. He invaded your space with noise. He didn't like you doing the same. He basically fucked around and found out. Not sure why Lee is on his side tbh. Not the asshole I actually think you found the perfect solution to an obnoxious passenger that wouldn't follow the rules your commentary on friends was hilarious. Not the asshole I love you lmao. You paid extra for a quiet ride to get work done. He literally broke the rules, the quiet sections are, would you believe it, meant to be quiet. Fuck it up, teach him a lesson. Not the asshole so your friend is happy for this man to invade your personal space but thought you were a dick for finding a genius gloriously parsag way of shutting him up and getting rid of it. Your friend is a pushover. Not the asshole. Sorry, but the quiet car is sacred space. Not the asshole dignified slow golf clap. Well done. Ha ha not the asshole he was being rude and inconsiderate in the quiet car. He didn't deserve any consideration from you after that, including respect for his personal space. Does your friend have a lot of trouble standing up for herself when people treat her badly? Not the asshole. You asked nicely, you made every effort to be diplomatic and he refused. Rules are rules on transport. Your friend is being unreasonable. Not the asshole. 
I wouldn't be giving no asshole my headphones, smiley face, smiley face, just because your friend is okay with sitting and being annoyed for 4 hours doesn't mean you have to be, I think you handled it perfectly. Not the asshole matching R with Petty is the absolute perfect way to deal with these types. I'm a little concerned with how much of a pushover your friend is though. Not the asshole he invaded your personal space with his noise. If he didn't want everyone joining in he should have put his headphones in. But be careful who you do stuff like this to some people react with violence to being confronted. Not the asshole. He was forcing an audience, you simply accepted the invitation in a hilarious way love it, totally going to remember this tactic. Definitely not the asshole. You did great. There is no excuse for him to play audio without headphones in any section of the train much less the quiet section. The way he responded to your request shows that he is probably a bully. I bet the other passengers were cheering you on silently because it's a quiet carriage. Not the asshole. Listening to devices by speaker in public is super rude and obnoxious. Not the asshole. You're a champion, and that bloke is a wanker who got the nicest possible version of what he deserved. Can't stand these brats who won't use headphones in a shared space. And friends? I know it's not the point, different strokes for different folks, blah blah, but to me these selfish bozos always seem to have taste as shitty as their manners. Not the asshole. Absolutely a perfect response to ashhole behavior. Not the asshole, and Q dos with such a great way to get him to move. Not the asshole. The stranger was absolutely the R here. Who gets into a quiet car and then doesn't wear headphones. A total R, that's who. Because he started the whole thing with his R behavior, and then added to it by refusing to do anything about it when you asked nicely, you were justified in doing that to force him to move. Presumably to a seat that's not in a quiet car. Not the asshole, that's hilarious. Not the asshole. The perfect reaction. And the right outcome. Not the asshole. Your reaction was brilliant. Edited because apparently I can't tell the difference between and. I'm going to have to get glasses, aren't I? Not the asshole. It's a taste of his own medicine. Lol not the asshole and I love your way of dealing with that just annoying him right back in a completely harmless way. Not the asshole you're my hero. But your friendly is a coward and a pushover. Not the asshole I would have been less polite. The iPad would have left via the window. Good job. Not the asshole. Amazing. Your friend and people like her are why he thought he'd get away with it. Well done. Next time he's on a train he may think twice. Not the asshole. I would have gotten the attending person to notice and got him kicked off. He should have gotten on a different part of the train. Your friend needs to grow a backbone because if they let people walk all over them then they are going to be sad in life. Not the asshole he was though. Just desserts for the stranger. Not the asshole.